multi-billion dollar merger between two of the nation's largest drug stores has fallen apart, but apparently not completely. Walgreens scrapping its takeover for rival Rite Aid uh, and instead will buy about half of its stores. That sent shares of Rite Aid down 26 percent. Walgreens up slightly. Bertha Coombs has more on this unusual move. Walgreens and Rite Aid say they decided to scrap their nearly $9.5 billion merger deal because after 18 months of negotiating with regulators, it was clear the deal would be blocked. Based upon feedback that we have received from the FTC that led us to believe that the FTC would not approve the consummation of the merger. Instead, Walgreens will buy about 2,200 Rite Aid stores for around $5 billion and will give Rite Aid access to drugs at a bigger discount through Walgreens wholesalers. I am pleased to have once again being proved right in my firm belief that, uh, as the English say, where there is a will, there is a way. That two willing partners can, despite adversity, find a deal that delivers a true benefit for both. The firm say they structured the new deal around antitrust issues raised during their merger process, but analysts say the FTC may still have concerns about consolidation. There could be some, some difficulty because it does give Walgreens some more negotiation leverage uh, in terms of negotiating drug prices, things of that nature. Um, it also gives them kind of a competitive edge and grows their market share in the industry um, beyond what they already have, and they're already the largest player there. Walgreens CEO says this smaller deal will still help the company achieve the growth it needs in a challenging environment for pharmacies, an environment that could get even more challenging with reports Amazon is now exploring the pharmacy business. The Walgreens chief expressed doubt. I don't believe that uh, Amazon uh, uh, will uh, uh, be interested in the near future, in the next few years, uh, in this market, uh, because uh, they have uh, so many opportunities uh, uh, around the world and uh, in many other categories which are much, much simpler than, uh, than uh, healthcare. Uh, which is a very regulated business. Right Aid CEO laughed when asked about Amazon, but said everyone in the industry is looking at selling prescriptions beyond the pharmacy counter. I think all of us retailers have, you know, been trying to figure out how to, you know, crack the code on, on that kind of a, an economic model. If approved, the firms expect their new deal to close within six months. Bertha Coombs, Nightly Business Report, New York.